Stunning colors, stylish case, great sound. The ZenBook 14X laptop from ASUS combines a stunning 14-inch OLED display with a first-class case that is both sturdy and high-quality. Performance should also be great thanks to the MX450 and a Tiger Lake SoC from Intel. The case alone is already rather impressive. ASUS hasn't gone for the lightest possible case, but in return, it achieves an exceptionally torsion-resistant chassis. ASUS provides two Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. They can output an image signal as well be used to connect the power adapter. Including HDMI, three displays can be connected. The Intel X201 Wi-Fi chip is integrated into the device, so it can't be replaced. In our test, the transfer rates are repeatedly clearly below average, so they don't represent what an Axe 201 is usually capable of. We attribute this to a suboptimal driver configuration in our pre-production sample and expect better results in production models. Opening the ZenBook is complicated because of the screws that hide under the rubber feet. Afterwards, the lid can be lifted off easily. However, there's not much to maintain here, since both the Wi-Fi module and RAM are soldered. The mat, non-slip keys have a pronounced pressure point, a moderate travel, and a firm stroke. Typing is almost silent. Working in darker environments is possible thanks to the three-stage white backlight. The pad can turn into a display when desired. The pad function can be used on the fly with an overlay or for longer periods of time by deactivating the display function. In Windows, the secondary display operates as an extended desktop like any HDMI-connected monitor would. You can drag Windows into it such as the Steam app, an editor, or the tools from Photoshop, for example. The main argument for buying the ZenBook 14X is its 14-inch OLED panel. Samsung provides a WQXGA Plus panel with 2880 by 1800 pixels. With a refresh rate of 90 Hz and a response time of 0.2 milliseconds, the vibrant display outshines any IPS model. It also promises 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, and we can confirm this with our measurements. ASUS states that the brightness reaches 500 nits, we measured 381 candelas per square meter on average and a maximum of 401 candelas per square meter which means that we weren't able to measure the brightness advertised by the manufacturer. As one would expect, the OLED display features an outstanding contrast, 3790 to 1, blacks are deep, and colors are vibrant. As typical for OLEDs, the response times are also excellent. We measured the grayscale and color delta E values before calibration at 2.4 and 2.3, respectively, very good values as they are below 3.0. The Core i7 has a PL1 of 50 watts and a PL2 of 61 watts. In practice, the processor only operates with 61 watts for seconds, the PL2 value briefly touches the 60 watt mark when Cinebench R15 is run once. The MX450 is at the top in the synthetic benchmarks, and it's on par with the Iris Xe Graphics G796 EUs or outperforms it by almost 10% in some cases. In the real gaming benchmarks, the MX450 performs moderately. With the ZenBook 14X, Asus has a sub-notebook in its lineup that is, for the most part, a joy to use. For starters, there's the vivid and bright OLED panel with a 3K resolution that reproduces the common color spaces with ease and accuracy. A battery runtime of just over 5 hours is below average for a modern high-end sub-notebook. We are eager to see whether the production model will perform better here. If you want to learn more about the Asus ZenBook 14X, visit our detailed review on notebookcheck.net. Thanks for watching.